Hi, my name is Lasse. I'm part of the LEGO Mindstorms team. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about motors. For this, we'll use the P-brick, a USB cable, a computer, this cable, a medium motor, and these two LEGO elements. Let's get started. We'll start by opening the project we created last time. The easiest way to do that is to use the Open Recent button up here and select My First Project. And we close down the content editor again to get more space. So we'll create a new program using the tab up here. And double clicking the title, we can change the name to my first motor. And let's save it. Now we're ready to connect the EV3 and the motor. So we'll take the USB cable, connect to the computer. And then we'll take the motor and assemble the bricks on it like this so we can see when the mot motor turns. And we'll connect this to the motor ports here on the top and we'll take motor port A. Great. Now back in our software, if we go down to the hardware page and select this tab that's called the port view, you can actually see in here that we now have a motor. And if I try to turn the motor here manually, you can see that it counts up here. And this is actually telling us now that I've turned the motor 172 degrees. We're going to use this later on. Now let's make a small program that makes the motor move. For this, we're going to need the medium motor block. I'm going to drag this in and place it after the start block like we did last time. And you can see that the port has already been set to port A and that's where we also connected it. I'm going to take set down the speed so that it's 25, around 25. And let's download the program and see what happens. And we'll go over here. Again, open up the project folder and then select my first motor. And as you could see, the motor turns exactly one rotation. So if we go back to the block, we can also see that here. So the first parameter here was the power that we set to the motor. The second one is called rotations. So that's how many rotations we want the motor to turn. Now let's drag up an extra block. This time I'll set the speed to minus 10 and I'll change this to 0 0.5 and we'll download this to see what the motor will do that now. Down here again open my first project and select my first motor. So as you could see it turned one rotation one way and a half rotation the other way but a bit slower. And that's just like how we built the program. Now on motor blocks you also have modes. So now we've used the on for rotation we actually also have on for seconds. If I choose this, and this time let's set the speed to 100. And now I'll tell the motor to rotate for two seconds. We'll download again. And we'll go over here, open up my first project and play my first motor. And notice how the, what the motor does. Did you see it? Let's play it again. One rotation, half rotation, and then two seconds full speed. So that's how you build a program for a motor. In the next tutorial, I'm going to be talking about sensors. See you then.